Hey guys, it is Nathan here, and the reason I'm wearing a hat is because, uh, indoors particularly, is because I want to share a kind of haircut moment experience with you. Now, how many of us have had what we would consider really bad haircuts, where we leave and we're just like, ah, oh, they just screwed it up. This is not what I wanted. It's not how I wanted to cut. I told them what I wanted them to do, and they didn't do it. And that was my experience on Friday. I, I essentially went into this barber shop, and there were a few signs that, you know, I think could have told me, eh, try something else, but I, I, I didn't. I wanted to get my hair cut, so I went to this place, and I basically told the guy, same style, a little bit shorter, which is, you know, not that difficult. Just whatever's going on on my head, same thing, a little shorter, clean it up. That's all I wanted, nothing crazy. And, uh... When he finally turned me around, uh, because I was not looking at what he was doing, he turned me around and I saw myself in the mirror and I just went, oh, I, wa I wanted to say, what, where, where did the line of communication break down? Because what you did to my head is, I do not believe what I said at all. He even goes, oh, is it short enough for you? And I wanted to be like, I, you know, what the, what the heck, what the what and the what? You know, this is not what I wanted. And, you know, I just left really disappointed and down and just not enjoying the experience. And a little bit later, I was on the computer, and I was still thinking about this considerably. And I remember just closing my eyes because I was going to take a little break. And I remember thinking, what if I had asked him to cut my hair this way? And I, I know it sounds crazy or, you know, ridiculous. You know, why would I go in and ask him to cut my hair so that it looks bad? But what if I had asked him to do that? What if I had seriously done that? Then suddenly I wouldn't be stressing about this or thinking about it or worrying about it or whatever. Just I wouldn't be putting any mental energy into this at all. And I realized if I do that, if I accept that, well, what if I had done this? Then, then I just fully accept my reality. Then I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to fight or argue with reality. It's like, because whatever's on top of my head, that's what, uh, you know, that's what my hair looks like. I'm not going to buy a wig and can't do this all over again. That's what it's going to look like. And it was holding on to the expectation of what my hair will look like around, you know, or for certain events or around certain people or, or you know, I want it styled a certain way. Whatever it is, whatever the concerns that are usually going on in our head, we just have these expectations that we're holding on to rigidly. And if we can just let them go and accept reality, then we're probably going to, you know, coast along a little more, or even not coast, but just, you know, move along, go get through this a little bit more pleasantly. So, just wanted to share that with all of you, and of course, it's not really that bad. It's just considerably shorter than what I wanted, um, and there are a lot of benefits to having hair this short, and I'm very lucky that it will grow back, and I can do this all again, and uh, hopefully I've learned a few things from this whole experience. Not only what to communicate uh, in terms of the style, but then you know, how to process whatever's going on in my head. So that's it. Just wanted to share uh, that moment with you on the road as optimal living continues in all corners and all parts. So that's it. Hope you guys are doing well. Until next time.